Do you desire prosperity? Have you been disappointed? Or are you in need of breakthrough? Your case file is here. Meet the God of all possibilities at the Father of Hosanna Church of Christ. Number 10 at Jennifuja Street by Aruna Bastop of College Road, Ogba, Lagos. Join the General Overseer, Pastor Kende Adiobu, for a life transforming encounter at Wednesday Solution R, 8 a.m. Counseling between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Thursday Deliverance Service, 6 p.m. through 8 p.m. Sunday Celebration Service, 8 a.m. For prayer and counseling, call 080-34-05-1701, or 080-35-733-3931. Your change has come. Jesus is Lord. With fire, your voice resounds. Thank God for the grace of this hour, and I thank God for your life, your family, and thank God for the church of God. We thank God for the grace of the God general of these generations. We thank God for all the children of God in the new world. We thank God for the missionaries. We thank God for Nigeria. I pray the Lord will take off from glory to glory. God will fight for the body of Christ. God will fight for the church of God. I pray the gate of hell will not prevail by a church. In the mighty name of Jesus, the church of God will move from glory to glory, from strength to strength. And anywhere you are watching me, whatever you lay your hand upon will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will demonstrate his mercy in your life. Because of you, God will pray protocols. In the name of Jesus, and I come against every dream affecting your destiny. Every dream affecting your life, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. The Lord will single you out of your generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, you become a testimony. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I really thank God for your life. I'm telling you, you are going to live long and you will fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. It's hour of destiny. God will bless you. I want you to call somebody to join you to watch this program because it's going to be a testimony. This program will give you generation testimony. It will single you out of your generation. It will live to higher. You will fulfill destiny and you will make heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Our topic today is my Goliath must die. My Goliath must die. My Goliath must die. First Samuel chapter 17. I want to read verse 49 to 50. And I will read verse 57. My Goliath must die. I pray for somebody. Anything that starts a Goliath in your life. Is it attitude? Is it sin? Is it demon? Is it principality? Is it sickness? Anything that starts a Goliath. Today God will destroy them. They will die in Jesus' name. My Goliath must die. First Samuel chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 49. And David put his hand in his bag. And he took as a stone. And he slaughtered it. And he smoothed the Philistine in his forehead. That the stones sunk into the forehead. And he fell upon his face to the, ground, to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sly and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slay him. But there was no sword in his hand of David. Verse 59, because of my time, and, and as David returned from the slaughtering of the Philistine, Habinath took him and he brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. That day, David prevailed over Goliath. Every Goliath in your life, the Lord will give you power to conquer it. In the name of Jesus, you will prevail over your Goliath. In the name of Jesus. Some people lack understanding of this, this place. Goliath must die. Goliath must die. There are many things that stand about Goliath. It's a matter of interpretation. Who is Goliath to David? Enemy of fulfillment. 
Goliath is enemy of destiny, enemy of star, enemy of glory. The power and the authority they are saying the plan of God will not come to pass in your life. Today, as we are watching this program, God will destroy them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord anointed David in his cell. The devil anointed Goliath in Philistine to destroy and disgrace the destiny and the glory and the God of David. But we thank God David will be anointed in 1 Samuel chapter 16. The anointing to conquer Goliath. Let you rest upon you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive fire to swallow your Goliath. Goliath can be anything. Anything against the plan of God in your life. Any get, anything against the plan and the purpose of God in your life. Anything that does not want God will, God claim to be exalted in your life. Anything that wants to disgrace God in your life. Anything that wants to ask God. That wants to make people to ask God. Where to ask people ask you where is your God? The Lord shall destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Goliath must die. Luke chapter 19 27. Jesus said, Any man that says I should not end, he said, Bring them before me and slay them. The Goliath must die. How man must die for Mordecai to succeed? There are many Goliaths. There are many things that start as a Goliath. Let me tell you from the Goliath of foundation. There are some foundations that are Goliath of destiny. So foundations say you will not make it in life. So foundations have been polluted by the idol of our forefathers. So foundation is the bad altar that are there. Some people, there's altar in their family, in their life. Anytime they are moving here, the altar will bring them down. The Lord told Gideon, go back to your father's house and destroy the altar before you can move forward. First Kings chapter 18. Elijah need to destroy the altar of her for fire to return. So men don't go and pray because they are not dealing with their altar. That's why they are not getting the result. So people they slow down, they are not married at the age of 40, 50. Because of their altar in their family. Every foundation that did not allow you to move forward. That foundation in your father's family. That foundation in your mother's family. Let the fire of God destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that evil foundation be conquered by God. Every foundation can stand as a Goliath. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Foundation of Jabez. Jabez wanted to prosper, but the foundation was causing limitation. The same thing has happened to many people. Let me tell you a story of two pastors, one from London, one from Nigeria. And do you know what happened? Before you know what happened, they are programmed together. And where they are praying, after the prayer, before the program, a pastor from Nigeria, he fasted for 21 days. But a pastor that come from abroad was just eating. After the prayer, the program is about seven, seven days. The first pastor from Nigeria, he preached and prayed, and nothing happened. Before you know what happened, he cried to God, why? The pastor from abroad, when he started preaching, singing, miracle began. Genuine miracle. Genuine word. Before you know what happened, the pastor in Nigeria prayed to God, why me, O oh Lord? And God opened his eyes. Say, you are not yet dealt with the foundation of your family. In Genesis chapter 12, God told Abraham, come out of your father's house. Come out of your foundation to break the covenant that affected them in your family. When you look at every great king and great man in Israel, their foundation affected them. And what is their foundation? The woman, the bad woman. Abraham, the same thing. David, the same thing. Solomon, the same thing. Samuel, the same thing. When you look at all these things in the life of her, Samson, the same thing. The foundation. I pray for somebody watching this program. Whatever foundation affects your business, your marriage, your career, your, ed your education, your ministry, let the foundation be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Foundation, before you know, the eyes of the pastor from Nigeria was open. And God showed him his foundation. His foundation, his forefather was hunter. And was Abadis. His mother was worship Oloku, the God of water. Those are the foundations challenging him. And it's not that dealt with the foundation. How do you want to go far? The Bible says in the book of in the book of Psalm 11 verse 30. Psalm 11 verse 30. Where foundation is 40. What the righteous can do. There are some people that have never carried masculine before. But in their deal, they will carry masculine. Some people masculine will pursue them. When you are a woman and your great grandfather worship. Water spirit, you need deliverance. 
before you can be delivered for spiritual husband. This is a practical ministry. And this is the truth of the matter. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 verse 32 to 36, that shall know the truth. The truth shall set you free. Where your foundation need to be dealt with. And you don't deal with the foundation. It will affect anything you are doing. Some people, their foundation, there's a serpent. There's a python. Some people, their foundation, there's a curse. Some people, their foundation is their spells. Some people, their foundation, there are many things. If you are not dealing with the foundation, you may not be able to go far. My house was open to my foundation years ago. I'm from a royal family. I'm from Kogi State. My, my, I come from Ikoi, Jumu, Kogi State. My eyes was open to my foundation. Before you know what happened, the Lord told me you need to deal with this foundation and destroy it to build another one. After that, and the Lord changed my story. I used it to pray for somebody. Anywhere you are in the forefront of the wall, any foundation that will be working against you, let the blood of your destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of your set to free in the mighty name of Jesus. Your foundation will not affect your star. I command your foundation to be destroyed. Let the new foundation be built for you. In the name of Jesus. Any altar in your family that will be covering your star, your glory. Let the altar be bringing down. Altar of witchcraft, altar of money power, altar of herbalists, altar of idols. Any altar in this shrine that did not allow people to go far. That cause disappointment, failure, solid dead in your family. Let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Lord set to free. The Bible, anyone that's the word the Lord set free is free indeed. Receive your deliverance by the blood of Jesus. If you or if you attack and fed destiny, foundation is matter. I told you a story. And after the man was praying, and his eyes was open. And the Lord opened his eye to the foundation of the man that come from abroad. His father was a bishop. His great father, evangelist. Great grandfather, a prophet. The same thing in his mother's side. Are you telling me? They have already dealt with any foundation that can affect him. Foundation can determine. John like a child they give birth to in the family of Queen in London. Automatically, you know that they have already started enjoying life. Foundation is matter. If they give birth to a child in, in London, automatically is American citizen. Foundation is important. Who say foundation is no matter? You are a liar. Because you don't understand it. Who say chapter 4 verse 6? My people perish for lack of knowledge. I want you to pray. Baby, you have been dreaming. You have seen yourself in no school. Primary school, masquerade. Sex in the dream. You have seen yourself swimming in the water. Say, arise, O oh Lord. Deliver me from every foundation. <laughs> Affect my destiny. Affect my glory. Affect my star. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of your set me free. From foundation of my family. family. Foundation of my mother family. Foundation, if anywhere, evil foundation, no foundation, can stand as a Goliath. I pray for somebody. Every foundation against you, let the fire of God destroy it in Jesus' name. Another Goliath of a man can stand as idol. Some people, it's the idol they worship in your community. If you don't pray against that idol, he may stand as a Goliath. A man was praying one day in the church in the building, and the eyes was open. Covenant will be given to him from God. God said, don't worry, you are going to prosper. After there's nothing happened. But when they was praying, and the Lord opened his eyes to see the covenant of idol, where the church was found, where the church was planted, there's a python, there's a tortoise inside the, inside the ground, at the gate of the church, until they remove the tortoise before the church prosper. I want you to know Daniel chapter 10, when you look at it very well, Daniel was, was praying somewhere. And before you know principality and power in the environment, the evil idol, the altar, the demons, they block the prayer of Daniel. Those are the Goliath of that environment. Anywhere you are, that the any power, any idol will be trouble you. Let the fire of God destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother, anything against your destiny is your Goliath. I do tell people, the prayer that Jesus prayed for Peter is not the prayer they pray for Judas. In the area of Peter, God told me that the devil applied to sift you like a wheat. I pray for you. And the Lord will strengthen you when you are strength, strength on that. In the area of Judas, God said woe to the son of perdition. Because they re repent, they find it difficult to repent to change. I also them can start saying Goliath. Micah chapter 7 from verse 5. The Bible is talking about the friend 
the household enemy. Jesus said, enemy of a man is a household. When somebody allowed the witchcraft power to control him against your destiny, that is Goliath. When somebody is taking your name and agree with the evil power, demonic altar, they are they combined together. So many that went to go and join a cutting kingdom to destroy you and they say we don't repent. That is a Goliath. I'm telling you, Exodus 22, verse 18. The Bible said, That shall not allow the wicked to live. Everyone that said they will not repent and they agree with satanic kingdom to destroy your destiny, to scatter your marriage, to kill your children, the fire of God shall destroy them. They will not survive it. In the name of Jesus, the people, I'm telling you, when the devil enters somebody, it can start as a Goliath. God told Joseph and Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, say, carry Jesus to Egypt until the error die. After the death of error, bring him back. The error died and they returned Jesus to Israel. What are you talking about? Every error against your star. Every Goliath and Pharaoh, the Lord shall destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. But I see wonder. One day I was praying. I'm doing counseling. And a woman came with her daughter. Before you know what happened, he started, she started crying before me. Man of God, help me. Everybody have been telling me, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened. They say I'm the one behind the battle of my, children, of my daughter. That didn't allow my daughter to have children. And this woman was crying, hey, old woman. I was crying with her. And my eyes was open. My eyes was open. I see the womb of the, her daughter inside her. And I say, hey, with this cry. And after everybody left. After two of them left, and I called the woman back. I said, Mama, please, I want to see you for one minute. And I told her, her daughter, I want to see your mother. And I told her mother, this is what the Lord showed me. I saw the whoop of your daughter inside you, in your mouth. Why? He said, Pastor, it's a long story. And he started telling me the story. He came back and told me the story. He said, the story is that they, their kingdom, they demanded for something. And that's what they demanded for. I said, okay, let's return you back to, to her. He said, Pastor, that one is, is not possible. Say, I cannot give her back. Because that's what I made. I, 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 demonic kingdoms. The, the, the witchcraft kingdom. Where she belonged to. That's what they demanded for. I look at her. I say, Mama, let your, children, your, your daughter have children. He said, Pastor, it's not possible. Because that is what they demanded for. What are you want me to do? They are saying, enemy they say over their dead body. Exodus so chapter 14. Pharaoh was so serious. Do you know how many times they go against Pharaoh? A yellow card. Yellow card turned the water to, to, to blood. Yellow card killed all their firstborn. There are many yellow card, But Pharaoh will not repent. Because he need to die. That is why the Lord now told Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 13, 14. He said, look back. The Pharaoh you see today, you see there no more. I pray for somebody. Anyone that will become a masquerade. All your pursuers. Anyone that say over their dead body before your glory and your stars can shine. The Lord will bring them down. Any grave they dig for you, they will represent you there. Whoever that wants you to cry over your children, they will represent them there. In the name of Jesus. The Goliath need to die. Because their work is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. John chapter 10, verse 10. Jesus said, The thief, the enemy, the wicked, they come in to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Listen to me. And you better stop them before they stop you. Because the enemy, after they kill somebody, they say they born again. I was reading the Bible, and do you know what happened? When you look at Saul that became Paul, it's one of them that killed Stephen. They stole Stephen to death, and they attacked his ministry. And nothing happened. Nothing happened. That means, I see a lot that a witch will be conversing in the church. He will be saying, hey, it's one that killed Abuja. It's one that turned this car down. And after we conducted deliverance, and they will repent. The person that died, they have died. That means you stop the enemy before they stop you. The Bible says, from the day of the John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God survived violent. Violent, you take it by force. You stop the wicked before they stop you. Goliath. The Goliath must die. Every Goliath in your father's family. Every Goliath in your mother's family. Every Goliath in the ministry. Every Goliath in your community. Every Goliath in your dream. Every Goliath in the place of work in your office. That they say they will not repent. The Lord will bring them down. The Lord will destroy them in the name of Jesus. Before they kill you, God will kill them. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not die through your enemy. In the name of Jesus, the Goliath must die. 
the Goliath that say over their dead body. Can't you see what the Abraham said? Over his dead body, Mordecai must die. He prepared a gallow for Mordecai to hang him there. And I thank God, God of Mordecai. What kind of the, 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 the testimony is that? That the unrighteous kill the righteous. Unbeliever kill believer. And they started proud saying, You have done it. That is abomination to the kingdom of God. The Bible says we should occupy his car with Jesus come. We are a child of authority. We are a child of power. Before you know what happened, they will begin to kill people, the wicked people. And so the Christian will begin to cry. I reject that one for you. You will not cry over the church. You will not cry over your husband. Any failure and Goliath, they are saying they will not leave you alone. They say they will not have your children. God will bring them down. There's a story. There's a story of a woman that I know very well. The woman married eight years. She will conceive. How that you know what happened? Before seven, six months, they, she will have a dream. See a particular horse in the dream. The horse will come to her in the dream and will use her two horse to eat the womb of the woman. And the pregnancy will come that we have bought her. And it has been like that for eight years. But one day the man of God will do program. And he blinds handkerchief. That's what we call Matthew. It's biblical. In the book of Ashotanai. You know the handkerchief of Paul. And the man said, oh, the pregnant woman, place it upon your womb. And the woman placed it on her womb. And instead it did, eight plus months to nine months, the, the ram was coming again. The ram was coming again. Say, let me do as I'm doing. Anyone that be shooting you out of Anyone that be aborting your testimony. Anyone that be aborting your breakthrough. Anyone that be blocking your journey to abroad. Anyone that say you will not marry. Anyone attacking your ministry, your, your, your calling. The Lord will bring them down in the name of Jesus. That day, the ram was coming. And the ram said, let me do the way I've been doing to this woman. And the, the, the ram used the to eat the woman, the woman in the dream. The ram fell on the ground. And the ram broke to two. And blood started coming out of the end of the ram. And the ram died. After the death of this ram, the woman, she woke up. And her husband left to the office. And she called the man of God. Say, man of God, this is my dream. The man of God told her, anybody that died around you, don't cry, don't worry. Just wait and see. After around 8 o'clock in the morning, after husband had left to office, her husband called her. Said they told me that my mother sick in the village. And it's a serious matter. Blood was coming out of her. Before you know what happened, I'm telling you that story. Before the woman called the pastor again. The pastor said, don't let your husband go so that they will not she will not, he will not use her to carry the, the death. And the woman was crying, my stomach, oh my stomach. You know, the Bible says, two shall become one. I'm telling you, he need to attend to his wife before her mother, before his mother. And he came home to come and attend to his wife. And that is where they call him. Where his mother died. After that, his wife gave birth to a baby boy. I'm talking about the error, the Pharaoh, the Goliath must die. Goliath of destiny. They must die in the name of Jesus. There are many Goliaths. Household enemy. Let me talk about Goliath of attitude. Some people, what you need to die in you is lie. Even some pastor, they lie on the altar. They lie to people. And anyone that lies will go to hell. Some people lie vision, lie dream, lie prophecy. I was there on the administration of one pastor one day. And was talking, saying, God said somebody, God, God was talking to somebody. And God speak to me in our church. God said, I'm not talking to him. And it was prophesied lies. A way of destruction. Pastor that prophesied like you are big cause and judgment to your children's children. It's a generous, generation cause. When God call you to be a teacher, be a teacher. If you are lying, it's a Goliath. Some people, their Goliath is adultery and fornication. In Judges chapter 16, God has been warning Samson. Don't go to this strange woman today. That is what happened to some people. The Goliath of some people is man and woman. A strange man and a strange woman. I pray may God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Let your Goliath die. Goliath of some people is pride. Some people pride. You remember I mean, Nebuchadnezzar? He woke up one day. He said, my hand, I built this empire. Before you know what happened, God said, you, he became an animal because of pride. When you allow achievement to enter you into your brain, and you allow your money, your achievement, your money, your education, whatever you achieve, it will lead you to destruction. Pride is a spirit of Goliath. 
He came out very fast. In fact, God said, I look Abraham out for a far place and I'm close to the one that is humble. Pride is a spirit of destruction. Some people is the spirit to seat others. They are Goliath. They like to oppress others. That is why I like Jesus. He's a mighty God and he has never used his mighty to oppress anybody. I'm telling you, some people is the love of money. Ah! They even steal church money. When you are stealing church money, you have already destroyed. You remember the testimony in Acts chapter 5? Acts chapter 4 and Acts chapter 5. And I need a You remember what happened to them in the, in the presence of Peter, Holy Spirit. See, you lie against God. Some people are stealing church money. Some people, they find it because they are stealing what belongs to God. That is a spirit of destruction. When you are lying and you are doing all these things, it's a spirit of Goliath. Some Christians that still go to the other side to go acquire for power. You have already go to a way of destruction. You can't serve God and serve Satan. That is the spirit of Goliath. When you are doubting God, it's the spirit of Goliath. When you hate your neighbor, it's the spirit of Goliath. I'm telling you the truth. Goliath spirit. The spirit of Goliath. Let it die in you in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody. Anything that makes you to miss your miracle. Anything that makes you to miss your angel when they are big breakthrough. Let that die in you in Jesus' name. Whatever the door you are open for the enemy. Anytime God is sending blessing for me, to you, let the door be closed in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you are watching me, the secret of God, you must give your life to Jesus. I'm telling you, for you to conquer Goliath of life, you must burn again. You must be light. If you don't have Jesus, you can't conquer this world. Wickedness in this world. Job said that the man has a few days on this world and he's full with evil, but war. The only way you can conquer this world, you must be in Christ Jesus. You must live a holy life and a righteous life. You must stay away from sin and listen to me. I just want to tell you this so you don't forget. Any time from now, Jesus is coming to come and join the world. He said, I'm coming quickly. It's coming. It's coming. I want you to prepare very well. Revelation has been given to me several times. The Lord has told me several times that I'm coming any time from now. Prepare for the second come of the Lord by surrendering your life to Jesus and fear God. Walk in His way. May God bless you in Jesus' name. I will see you next week. Before that, I prophesy to your life. That Goliath in the dream, I command the Goliath to die. That Goliath of will manage your business. Let the Goliath die. That Goliath in your, in, that trouble your children. That made that children to smoke, to drink. Let the Goliath die. That Goliath in that church. Goliath in your ministry, your church. That Goliath in your office. I command the Goliath to die. That Goliath attitude. That Goliath foundation. That Goliath altar. That Goliath idol. Anyone that says it's a Goliath from the satanic kingdom. Any occultic one that says they are Goliath. Let them die in Jesus' name. And finally, let them die in your life. And that thing they are committing in you. Let the thing die in Jesus' name. It is well with you. The Lord will be with you. May God bless you in Jesus' name. I will see you next week. You are blessed.